Hi everyone, my name is George Blanco. I am your global artistic mentor representing the West. Today, you're gonna to be joining me as I give you my version of the deep and richest red hot balayage. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on started. First things first, before any successful color service, it's important that we find our foundation. I section my model out into a Pravana standard quad sectioning and I isolated out her fringe area so that we could pop in a couple of foils at the end, really framing her face and completing the entire look. The technique I chose to utilize for today's look to keep it multidimensional is the teased balayage, AKA the teasy light. The reason why I feel like the teasy light is such a great option for today's situation is because if you're anything like me, you can probably go heavy handed sometimes and unfortunately lighten too much. So the tease balayage will ensure you keep depth at the base and you can also go a step further by weaving out a couple of sections and giving yourself even more depth throughout the entire head. Here's a pro tip with a fun little trick that you may not even have known. If you want high highlights with even more depth towards the base, Consider painting your sections while over directing forward. When you over direct your sections forward and paint them towards the face, when the hair comes back to its natural state, giving you those pops of blonde towards the face and keeping depth towards the base. Moving to the front on my client's fringe, I definitely utilized foil instead of mesh to ensure she had a little bit more brightness. I wanted a little bit more pop around the face, so foil was the way to go. I started out with a slice and as I worked my way to the back, I weaved out sections to give a little bit more of a gradient effect. And on the last one, I did a teased balayage to bring the whole look together. I chose to utilize Pure Light Power Lightener and Zero Lift Developer to simply give me the softest lift I could achieve while also utilizing meshes instead of foils to give me a very soft lift and that way I could keep some of the warmth in the hair since we are still keeping it a red look and that gave me the proper foundation for the final look. For today's look, my model Anna told me she loves being red. She told me herself she'd never want to be anything but red. So we don't want to change the look up too much, but we want to elevate the look. For the final color, I custom formulated it by mixing together three of the amazing hydroglass colors that were offered in 7CR, Clear, and 5R to ensure that I got the most beautiful and radiant red for my model possible. You can definitely utilize hydrogloss on damp hair depending on the results you're looking for. Some of the amazing things that I found after having the opportunity to work with hydrogloss is that it goes on like a dream. It is super easy to apply. Its gel-like formula makes it so so easy to work with. It smells fantastic. The hair felt fantastic afterward. Super soft, super silky. It comes to absolutely no surprise that the color that we did on my model looks gorgeous. The color suits her skin so beautifully. She looks amazing. We wanted to kick it up a notch, so we custom colored some extensions. We threw a pop of vivids in there to make it even more fun. And the look was complete. My main objective at the beginning of the service was to make her feel like a million bucks and after the complete color transformation, the installation of the extensions and the overall look, we turned her million into a billion. All right, y'all, that's it. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. It's been amazing. 
So if you want to see more education like this, make sure you follow Pravana on all of their socials. If you want to follow me on my journey, make sure you follow me on my Instagram. And for more free education, go ahead and visit us at our website where you can get more looks like this from more of my friends and other artists like this. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias y los veo después.